All right, good morning, lovely humans. We are playing with being in the spiral, cosmic spiral today, yes. And uh, it's kind of funny, nor did all this tech stuff last night to improve our sound and video and to bring us into the galactic spiral, um, which is kind of fun because I was already um, meditating yesterday on uh, taking new perspectives. Ah, and how crucial that is right now to really keep our perspectives fresh uh, so we don't decide what's happening in this very mysterious and curious time as much as the mind wants to know what's happening and kind of grasp for knowing and figuring it all out. What do we know? What does anyone know? I don't know. So I'm reading all the very different perspectives from all sides and just trying to stay in that float in that swim in the middle even with your sound on your phone no. oh. all right let's see if i can uh, mute all okay continue and so yeah playing with perspectives Turning things around, looking at them from all sides, getting upside down, seeing things from, uh, you know, topsy-turvy perspectives as we are and as we must right now. So let's just play with that. We'll give some attention to the low back. And if anybody has any other requests, welcome everyone. Um, <clears throat> as we get going here, your requests are welcome, your check-ins are welcome. And I'll uh, oh, pay some attention. Yeah, go back, twist, conversions, whatever you want. You can always chat or come off mute if you have questions or requests. Take any movements or props that you need to be in an easy seat for a moment and just bring your awareness to your breath. As you're ready, close your eyes. Close your eyes as you're comfortable to or able to, and guide your awareness inward. Give a little press down into your sits bones and your tailbone. Use that rooting down to lift up tall through your spine, lift through your heart, lift through the crown of your head. Breathe your spine long and allow your spine to float back in space a little bit. We want to stay on the front or edge of the sit bones, but at the same time not be leaning forward. So keep the pelvis pouring forward as much as you can and draw the ribs back over the hips, the shoulders back over the ribs and the ears back over the shoulders. Press down into earth and lift to sky. Bring your awareness to the tips of your nostrils. Focus in on your breath. First, a very subtle, pinpointed focus of breath. Notice the cool air as it moves in the nostrils. And maybe you can feel those tiny little hairs there. Notice the warm air at the tips of your nostrils as the breath flows back out of the body. If you are comfortable with it, please begin Ujjayi breath. So a slight closure in the back of the nose and the throat. So you warm the breath as it enters. You hear the sound of the breath. And we attune the mind to this movement and sound. Following the breath through the nostrils, as we inhale through the nose, the breath spirals down deeper into the body. It's also less dehydrating. So we really want that inhale throughout the practice as much as you can through the nose. And then the exhale can uh, out your mouth, soft jaw, soft tongue. Notice where maybe we're holding against our situations. Oh, and acknowledging again these human tendencies to want to 
organize and label and, and put things in a row and uh, order things and control things and how uh, that's not very easy to do right now. But nonetheless, acknowledge just the innate human tendency and the tensions that we might build in the body as we are having to resist our innate tendencies. And so with great compassion today, I invite you to breathe yourself, to welcome the gift of this breath of life and to invite it to deepen and lengthen. And as you do breathe in this spiraling breath, imagine if you will, it just wrapping all around you, the breath embracing you. And as you exhale, soft eye, soft jaw, soft tongue, let the breath go. Empty out as completely as you can. Long, slow, deep breath, spiraling embrace of the body mind. And this is the way spirals that nature works out things when they would otherwise maybe get stuck, like the spirals of the whirls of the um, hair growing on your skull scalp or the uh, spirals of the whirls of your fingers, spirals of the way the wind blows, the way the water whirlpools, the way that uh, things grow, the golden mean. And so it is, all things spiraling all around us. Again, nature always teaching us from the way that she grows and rises and falls and transforms about how all things have their cycle, their circle, their beginning and ending. And how part of the wonder of this life is to be in that dance with awe, with curiosity, and to not think we know too much. But being with the spirals, continue with those long breaths, if you will, in the nose, and any uh, letting go breaths or sounds out the mouth to keep the jaw soft. And I invite you to begin to take circles with me, if you will, pull onto that right knee, torso to the right, and pull on both knees, chest forward, push on that right knee, torso to the left, and curl, navel back, spine rounding. Let your breath lead this movement as you really begin to spiral through the spine, roll through the bowl of the pelvis. And let the neck go with that so everything gets really soft here. Breathing fluidity, tapping into the way that your DNA spirals, the way the nadis spiral around your sushumna. It's the central channel of your body, your nadis, your energetic pathways, your veins. Next time you round to the front, switch directions. Might want to roll out the mouth in big circles too. Really make sure your jaw is soft and relaxed. Breath, full body, awakening body, washing out the tensions, the stiffness, welcoming in fluidity and ease. Stay with that as you like, or come on back to center. Roll your shoulders, maybe roll them out. Exhale and touch the earth, ground down. Remember your body as part of this earth designed to heal, to renew, to be ever-changing, rejuvenating. And thank you to this great earth for all of her teachings, for the beauty, the nourishment, the abundance. Thank you. 
Thank you to all of those who've come before us on this path and handed down these teachings. Thank you to all those around the world who practice with us throughout all time and space. Thank you to all of the teachers, gurus, and lineages who cultivated and cataloged and share these practices. Follow your next inhale, open wide and gather up energetically. Let's bring the palms together overhead and exhale and center and focus. Bring the hands down to your heart. Push into your heart and work the shoulders on the back. Lift the hands to your heart and breathe your hearts. Yes, I am. Feel that breath again spiraling down into your body. Breathe your yes to life. How can we welcome in a little more playfulness, a little more curiosity and wonder, and maybe take new perspectives on our situations today, especially where they're hurting or the struggle? And we find the mystery, we find the wonder, the trust, and we reach out for help where we need it. Exhale and pour your breath out. Inhale your heart's yes as you're ready to. Please join me, three ohms. interlace the fingers here and press the palms together as you exhale pull your navel back and round through your spine inhale and press the palms to the sky and wiggle up out of the waist and a little side bend there turn your face down inhale press and reach to the sky exhale side bend other side inhale stretch tall center Kali Mudra first finger up fingers up and squeeze the head with your upper arms we squeeze inhale imagine you're just squeezing out any busyness any old stories any stuckness and let us welcoming in this bright day inhale bright and as you exhale first new perspective twisting left hand to right knee right hand behind you push down lift up out of the waist inhale and as you exhale squeeze low belly low back together look behind you yes to all that has happened to us yes to all that we have done to bring us here on our path of practice of life yes to all that has brought us our wisdom our strength our beloveds our support teams our wonder, our creativity, yes to all of it. Inhale, tall spine. Stay in the twist. Reach the right arm up behind you and then over. Reach past that left knee in a side bend with a twist. Inhale and stretch that out. Breathe into the bottom tip of the back side of that right lung. Next, inhale, unwind and press forward, long spine, hands down. And next, exhale, pull from the navel, roll on back up. Inhale, float the arms up to the sky. And exhale, right hand to left knee, left hand behind you. I'm just going to back up a bit so you can see all of me. There we go. Right hand to left knee, left hand behind you. Inhale, root down, exhale, spiral deeply. Each breath in that way, inhale, root to rise. Exhale, twist, spiral, deep, full breaths. Stay in the twist as inspired. Left arm up and over. Reach past that right knee. Big side bend. Pull out, out of the bottom of the low back there. 
bottom of that rib in the low back. See if you can bring the breath right there. Next, inhale, unwind and stretch your arms forward. And exhale, pull from the navel, drape on up. Take that front foot, put it behind the other foot. Switch the legs. We'll go twice more, once more to each side. Inhale, stretch and reach up tall. Exhale, left hand to right knee, right hand behind you. Inhale, root down to rise up. And then exhale, squeeze to center, to spiral deeply. Beginning in the core, really activating from the root. Long, slow breaths here. <clears throat> Inhale that right arm up and over. Side bend on your twist. And unwind. Inhale, reach the arms forward. Press the hips back. Big breath there as you exhale, drape on up. Follow your inhale, float the arms up, stretch tall. And exhale, twist, second side, right hand to left knee, inhale, root down, lengthen up. Exhale, squeeze to center and spiral around that squeeze. Next, inhale, left arm up and over, add a side bend to that twist, stretch it out, big full breath. Next, inhale, unwind the arms, stretch the hands forward, push your hips back. And exhale and pull from the navel and drape on up. Pick your knees up, move your props aside if you have them there. And come on to lie on your back body. We'll begin with some core work in a twisty way, <clears throat> or a couple twisty ways. So first, let's just feel into the back body as you're ready. Come to, <clears throat> excuse me, lie down and hug into your knees and just take a little rock into your hips there, into your low back. Ah, breathe, that connection to earth. Really feel the earth beneath you, the weight of your body softening into the hold of earth, if you will imagine that great mama of earth just holding you. Yes, my child, yes. Ah. And with a hand on each knee, let's begin to draw some circles with the knees, rolling around the sacrum, massaging into your low back. And we'll switch directions. And then come on back to center. Take one hand, knee in each hand and open wide and draw them back together. Soft jaw massage into your hips. You might even massage into your mouth there as you do. Wow, wow, wow. Stretch your mouth out. Get the mouth soft, big circles. Oh yeah, that's right. Alive in a body right here, right now. All this breath. All this potential, all this joy and wonder just waiting for us to grab a hold of it. And so it is, so we will today. Let's stretch the legs up to the sky and flex the toes back, pointing towards your face and point the towards away, pointing up in space. And flex and point and flex and point and flex and point and circle rolling through the ankles rolling through your toes and switch directions i'm still figuring out our background i'm mesmerized by it like what is the dark thing creeping in the corner it's the shadow of the wind chimes they think 
Huh. Okay, nice warm ankles there. That's great. And now squeeze, squeeze your legs together. Make them really strong. Flex the toes back and have your arms in any way that keeps the arms strongly on the earth. So push into the side of the hands or the back, side of the fists or the back of the hands, working the shoulder strong in the back. Also, robot uh, cactus arms could be great. However you like to be here, keep those shoulders rooted. Try not to let them try to help you. Inhale and as you exhale, just lift the heels. And then cross your right ankle over your left. So spiraling the legs. We're going to find the spirals all the places we can today. Flex the ankles strongly. Draw the toes back. And the ankles are hooked. Try to pull the legs apart. Oh, feel all that heat that makes in the legs in the core already. Just lay in here. You could just lay here and work that isometric action and get stronger. Or keep that pull. Inhale. And as you exhale, navel back, heels to the sky. Here we go. <laughs> And in or, uh, bring the hands behind the head for a moment. Inhale, we're just going to actually hold the head with the front arm leg. So um, for me, right leg's in the front, so my right hand's going to hold the head. Inhale as you exhale, curl up, and then lower that left leg down about a 45 degrees and push your left hand into your right shin. Press, resist, head and shoulders off the earth, navel back. <sighs> And unwind, come on back to center. Inhale here and cross your ankles, flex the feet strongly, pull, pull, pull like you're trying to break them apart, but don't let it happen. Inhale and for 10, heels up, navel back. And then hands behind the head, curl head and shoulders up off the earth. Inhale as you exhale, lower that right leg and push right hand into the left shin. Shin pushes back into that hand, press, resist, navel back. Whee! And take pause there. Let's step the feet wide and we'll just stretch out all that we just contracted there. A moment, inhale, reach through the arms, reach through the knees. Exhale, navel back. Inhale, knees to the other side, stretch out through the arms and exhale through center. Follow your breath, inhaling, reach. Exhaling through the center. Breath, full body, last breath or so, whatever you need to get even on both sides for now. Maybe just notice one side's tighter if it is, and one more round. Same thing. Inhale, legs to the sky, cross right ankle over the left, hook those ankles strong, and pull. Inhale, exhale, heels to the sky. <laughs> Right hand behind the head, left hand to right shin, press, resist, navel back. Inhale up, switch the ankles, pull, and exhale, heels up. And lower that right leg down, right hand to left shin, press, resist, navel back. Whee! And feet to the floor, knees wide. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale through center. Inhale to the other side, stretch it out. And exhale through center. Follow your breath side to side. And then legs up to the sky, sacrum on the earth, and turn your toes out to the side as far as you can and open your t legs wide so your toes point down to the earth as much as you can. Bring your hands to your adductors here. You can give a little rub along your inseam or a little squeeze or a little percussion. Just invite those adductor muscles to, you know, do their job, hold on, but oh, stop the gripping. Let's just let go a bit there. The upper inner thighs where your uh, iliopsoas connects there and the lumbar spine. So we want to loosen that 
<sighs> evenly today as much as we can and inhale breathe wide legs as you exhale spiral right leg over the left twist 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 hook those right toes if you can around your left ankle inside of it if you can't legs pushing together from the outsides is fine too but just find some muscular action there and some strong engagement into the pull of the legs and inhale your arms up overhead and exhale wrap the right arm around the left same leg on top same arm on top big big hug and pull the elbows down <sighs> receive your hug you could stay with the arms like that if that's enough for you or spiral the arms eagle arms and here we go eagle reach through fingers reach through toes long stretchy eagle there and then as you exhale curl in elbows and knees connect sacrum and shoulders off the earth as much as you can inhale stretch it out on the floor exhale shh, curling in this is super great for your immunity <clears throat> getting all those lymphs pumping and working the core at the same time so working that core also cleansing the limbs there shh, moving digestion whatever it is we've ingested as well as our experience shh. One more. Unwind, hug your knees in, <clears throat> legs to the sky, turn your toes out to the side and open wide, toes pointing towards the earth. Take a little pause there, massage into your sacrum, low back. <sighs> and spiral left leg over right around 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 hook as you're able to inhale arms up and left arm over right big hug and then pull the elbows down receive your hug Again, stay with that with the arms or spiral the arms as you're able palms together or wherever close to that you get and then pull like you're trying to pull the elbows and the uh, um, knees apart oh, but don't let it happen Avi and inhale reach through fingers reach through toes stretch it out and exhale curl in with your breath one more unwind feet to the earth let's stretch that out bridge pose uh -huh. feet as wide as the knees knees as wide as your hip points interlace the fingers squeeze the palms together get your shoulders on the back press into your heels squeeze your booty lift your hips lift your heart lift the chin away from the chest keep working strongly into the back body open front body bright breathe your hearts yes don't turn the head to the side once you get strong into this pose work that muscular action and breathe we'll take about five more breaths here deep and full in the nose and out the mouth follow that spiraling of your breath through your body imagine that spiraling back out into the world embracing those uh, people places or situations that could use a little spaciousness or new perspectives right now last big bright inhale here as you exhale release the hands and ripple on down hug your knees into your chest and let's begin a little rock and roll forward and back on your spine <sighs> breathe into that massage of your spine and maybe cross your right ankle over your left i'm going to invite you to rock through into lunge so imagine as you rock that you're going to land your right foot one of these times and send the other leg back behind you 
And in your lunge, front heel is directly under the knee. Back heel stretches back and squeeze your inner thighs together. Hug them together as strongly as you can so you're very light on your fingers. And let's just play first with some rotations here. So really squeeze into your core. Hug in and open right hand face chest to the sky. Inhale there as you exhale. Let's switch. Lower that right hand down. Open. <laughs> Watch out, it's not an easy one. Go open left hand, face chest to the sky. Exhale, arm down. Keep that strong hug to core. Inhale, open. Exhale, switch with your breath. Churning through the center, use that core to hug in, to transition you. Next time you come back down, let's switch that up. Keep the legs as they are. Pull that right hip back and reach the fingers forward. Inhale and exhale as you push into that leg open. Face chest to the sky, straightening the front leg. Exhale, swoop that arm down, knee back into your lunge. Inhale, straighten the leg open, face chest to the sky. And exhale, swoop it back down as you bend back into the lunge. Play with your breath, three more here, inhaling open. Exhaling to sweep. Hands down to the earth. Inhale and look forward. And exhale, soft jaw, soft tongue. Step on back, plank pose. Inhale, strong core, long spine in plank. Deep, full breaths. Hold three. Hold two. Hold one. Keep that hug to core. Step your big toes together. Let's bring a little churning in here. So you can keep the hands on the ground and rotate open as needed. Or maybe pick that hand you're moving away from up to your heart and come on back down and switch. Again, hands could stay there, just gently twisting in the body. Or pick it up, come towards the side plank. Let's go two more to each side. As you like with the arms. <laughs> Take your time. The next time that you come back to center, pause in neutral. Inhale, long spine, strong core, breath, full body. Shift forward, inhale as you exhale, lower for five, four, three, two, and one. All the way down to the belly. Push into your feet and stretch the legs back behind you. Point your toes straight back and press strongly into your pubic bone, into your sacrum, root down. Pull with your hands, elbows, and shoulders back. Inhale, open up into cobra. Keep dragging yourself forward. Spine long, core strong. Really push into your sacrum. Inhale at the top in cobra and exhale as you look over that right shoulder back at your tail. Keep pulling that left shoulder back. Try not to take it with you. Inhale, center, and other side. Look over that left shoulder. Pull your right shoulder down the back. Follow your breath once again to each side. Inhale, open center, and exhale. Lower down. Press on back. Child's pose. Inhale, breathe. Big breaths into the lower back in child's pose. Ah, I encourage you to take a big sighing breath. And then one more big inhale. As you exhale, left foot forward between the hands. I'm just going to flip around for the camera. And shoulder blades down the back. Heart four. Back toes under. Lift that back knee. Squeeze to center. Hug in strong. Squeeze the legs together like you're squeezing a block between them. Pull that left hip back, right hip forward. Hug in so you're very light on the hands because here we go. Inhale, open left hand, face chest to the sky. And exhale, float that arm down. Inhale, keep that hug to center, right arm up. Exhale, arm down. Follow your breath. Take your time. 
Next time that you come down, squeeze into center and stretch that left hand forward and pull that hip back, long side body. Breathe that side body, inhale. As you exhale, push into your front foot, straighten the leg as much as you can, open that arm, face chest to the sky. Exhale as you swoop the arm down, bend into the front knee, and arm vinyasa, three more. And I'm feeling like I did one more, so here we go, one more. Inhale forward into your lunge, stretch it out. As you're ready, exhale and step back, plank pose. And uh, let's come down to the forearms this time. We'll come into a bit of a deeper twist, even from this lower place. Bring the palms together, press strongly into your palms and widen the shoulders as much as you can. Melt the heart down, step your big toes to touch. Keep that core engaged. This time we are gonna keep the forearms on the floor and rotate to the outside of that one of your feet. <laughs> Lengthen through the tailbone, lift through the heart. Breathe. Keep that press into the palms, elbows wise, the shoulders roll back onto the toes. Inhale, lengthen through tailbone, lift navel, soft and heart. Exhale with the toes touching, roll on over to the other, outside of the other foot. Lengthen through tailbone, lift through the heart. Deep full breaths. Push into your hands, come on back to center, lower down to your belly. And all the way down, make the legs strong, bring the elbows out to the sides. So your fingertips are right under the elbows, elbows are directly out from the shoulders to the side, the whole length of the upper arm bone. And then roll your shoulders together up onto the back, pull them down as you push into your sacrum, drag your heart forward. Inhale, body bright here. As you're ready, spin that left shoulder down. Turn, look over the right shoulder. Inhale, roll open. Spin right shoulder down. Turn, look over the left. Follow your breath side to side. Inhale to open and exhale to spiral. Big breaths. Feel that spiraling of your breath. The spiral of, spiraling of all things right now. Something's being spiraled into being. Something's being spiraled out of being. New ways of being. New ways of seeing. All things constantly being regenerated. Each inhale, the universe birthing you. Each exhale, you birthing your unique manifestation of consciousness. Take your time. Once you're even on both sides, come on back to center. Inhale, open. Exhale, you could move back directly into down dog, pulling your hands in first. Or come on back through child's pose for a pause. Breathe your back body in child's pose. Inhale, press your hips back, long spine. <sighs> when you're ready, in downward dog, long breath, strong hands, really claw those fingertips and pull back from the core, moving your chest towards your thighs. Use that core strength to pull back and step your big toes to touch. Inhale, keep lengthening back. As you exhale, bend the knees and pivot, knees and toes to one side, bend the knees deep, pull your hips back to the heels. Inhale, straighten your legs, pivot through center, exhale, pivot and twist to the other side, bend the knees deeply, hips back to the heels, and follow your breath side to side, inhale to straighten, exhale to pivot, twist, squeeze the breath out. Let's go one more each side, spiraling, spiraling the day away, inhale, lengthen back, center, and take your time. Follow any exhale to bend deep into the knees and hop or step forward to the front of your mat. At the front of the mat, in a forward fold, bend the knees as much as you need. Give your hands a little shake out. 
Give your shoulders a little shimmy side to side. Feel how that wants to swing the arms. Notice how naturally the arms want to spiral there. Let the neck go. Give your head a little nod to roll around. Bounce your knees. Oh, shake it all out. And then hug feet to earth. Muscles to bones. Root to rise. Come on up to stand. Press into the earth as you rise up to stand. Fix yourself. And open wide. Gather up. And exhale, center in. Press into the palms, work the shoulders on the back, and your heart right. Breathe into that lift of your heart. Breathe your heart's yes. Feel the spiraling of the breath through your body, mind, and back out into the world. The inhale, that kundalini of the universe birthing you. The exhale, the life force energy as you birthing this unique expression of consciousness back out into the world again and again. Yes to life. Yes to the wonder. Yes to the great mystery. Yes to the what the fuck as we all try to figure it out together. <laughs> yes to finding humor in our tragedy. Slow and steady, hug to center. Lift all your musculature up and in, and as you hug to center, pour the weight into that right foot. Slide your left heel up the inseam, and then reach for that knee. We're going for vriksha, tree pose. Foot inside that front thigh, uh, standing thigh, or of course, bring the foot to the floor as needed. Use a wall or a star or whatever you got. I'm taking that star right there. Oh, it went away. <laughs> They're moving. Squeeze to center. Hug in strong. Root to rise. Feel your tree powers that rooting down. And the more that you push down and the more that you hug in. So the more that we find a beneficial contraction, steadiness, the more freedom, the more lightness. So give yourself those pauses to just be, to just reflect. Maybe to nap a little more or write. Uh, whatever it is, where can that steadiness be found? Where can the pause be found that nourishes the movement that we would choose to make right now? I don't know about you, but for me, I've been pretty windy lately as I've lost my structures and my support teams and my usual things and routines and all of the things. And it's been pretty windy. And so I'm doing a million things and I'm finding steadiness in the practice, steadiness in the breath. Hug in to spiral. Find a new perspective. Pause in this twisted tree. Please reset on the earth as needed, or once you come back, flow that top leg over the bottom leg and hook your toes, spiraling into eagle legs. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, yep, eagle arms, big hug, right arm over left or same arm as your top leg. Cross over and pull the elbows down, receive your hug. Yes, I'm just finding tricky ways to get you to hug yourself more. So good, receive that hug, receive the benefits of your hug. Stay with that as in spiraled or continue the spiral into eagle arms. Elbows up, shoulders down, hands away from the face and squeeze to center as you sink in deeply. Keep squeezing to center, moving the elbows towards the knees, moving the seat towards the earth. Breathe into that release in your low back. Of course, if you need to at any point, those toes could land and support you. Two or three more breaths. Exhale, sink in low, squeeze deeply as we inhale. We're gonna fly through warrior three. So hug in if you need to, reset on the earth, lift up. As you exhale, press back warrior three. 
Inhale as you exhale, step back, wide-legged stance. Heels in, toes out. Let's bring the hands to the thighs above your knees. You can start with the elbows there if you like. Press those legs wide, seat low. <sighs> Soft jaw as you breathe into the hips. Maybe bring your hands to the thighs. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, press that left thigh away. As you turn, look over the right shoulder, pull your navel back, squeeze. <sighs> Inhale, open back up to center. Exhale, other side, press and squeeze. Breathe that twist. And let's just follow the breath again to each side. Inhale, open center. Exhale, press and spiral. Hold the breath out. Inhale, open center. Exhale, press and spiral. Inhale, open up center. Devi Asana. Feel your power, your strength, your fierce love. And inhale, shine it out. Heels out, arms out, stretch out. Be the bright star that you are. Hug the earth with your feet. Pull in and up to strong core. Squeeze the shoulders on the back. Breathe your yes, I am. Full body breath, full body yes. Inhale and stretch the arms to the sky and wiggle up out of the waist. And exhale and float the arms down, interlace the hands behind you, squeeze your shoulders on the back, lift your heart bright, take any edge of back bend there. Ah. Inhale, open heart and exhale as you pull the feet together, spin the thighs back, reach your heart forward and bow in. Squeeze the shoulders, relax the neck, give your head a little nod or roll around there. And pull back up from your hands. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Keep those legs squeezing together. Strong legs, strong core. Inhale, arms open to the side. And I'm going to count from three to one here. When I get to one, we're all going to hop together at the same time and clap the hands over our heads. So feet together, hands together. Inhale, three, two, and one. Bam. I know you all did it at the same exact time. That was awesome. <laughs> Usually that happens. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, open and gather up. Notice the difference in the sides as you center in. Feel that extra warmth and circulation on one side. Imagine all this energy and efforting your hearts. Yes, breathe. I am. So hung, so it is. Hug in, muscles to bones. Slow and steady as you squeeze all the musculature up and into center. Float the weight into your left leg or your second side. Fly that right, slide the right foot up your inseam. And vriksha, tree pose, second side as you're ready. Press the leg and the foot equal and active into each other, wherever that foot is. So it could be much lower down as needed. Squeeze to center and lift and light up from there. Steady here. As inspired, meaning led by breath, it could grow the arms to the sky, branches I mean, blossom your fingers out, feel the beautiful blossoming spring tree that you are rooting down deeply, maybe into newfound ground, blossoming open, maybe creatively into also the great mystery. <sighs> What does this time, what do these challenges have for you, for treasure, for gifts? There's always something. What novelty are we opening to? Stay here. Bring that little wind into it if you like, because you need to. Or keep squeezing to that strong center. Lift and spiral and find your twisted tree. Keep hugging in. Spiral around your strong center. Breathe your steadiness. Even in the waving, let that windiness happen as it will. And you're breathful. Steady. 
hugging in, staying anchored in that center, even as we dance with all the weathers that are happening right now, all the feelings, all the information and misinformation, all the curiosity. Yes, we are here for the fullness of all of it, looking at it from all sides. Steady and center, hug in, stay as you like. If you need to, again, reset on the earth. Otherwise, come on back and spiral that top leg around the bottom if you can. Hook it inside the opposite ankle. Stay with that or toes on the floor as needed to support you. Inhale, arms up, same arm as that top leg for most of you, I think the left. Crossing over, big hug and pull the elbows down. Again, receive that hug. I don't know if you got my newsletter, but I hope you did. It's about hugging yourself. <sighs> so breathing into whatever's present for you there. <sighs> Spiral the arms as inspired. Eagle arms, elbows up, shoulders down, hands away from the face, and keep squeezing like you're trying to bust that apart, and sink as low as you can. Squeeze, squeeze, hug in, hug in, hug in. Keep it going, a couple more breaths, and I'm just gonna reset for uh, your view. Squeeze as you sink low. Exhale all the breath out. Follow any inhale to pick that top leg up and stretch it back. Open up. Moving back through warrior three. Inhale. And as you exhale, step way back. Heels in, toes out. Open it up, sink it in. Back to your Devi Asana, maybe with that lion's breath. Let's do a couple more of those. Inhale, stretch up, heels and toes out. As you come down, knees bend, elbows bend, tongue and eyes stretch as far away from each other as they can. Get fierce, get playful with it. Inhale, one more, stretch it up, exhale, sink it in. Inhale, shine it out, superstar. Parallel your feet, arms out, squeeze to center. And move forward a little bit. All right, I want to invite you into a spiraling dance here, if you will. Inhale, open arms. As you exhale, we're going to step the left foot behind your right at about a 45 degrees, and we're going to cross that right arm over the left. So again, same arm and leg on top, spiral, and sink it in. Garudasana in a little tuck there. And we'll inhale and fly that open back to your superstar. Exhale, cross that right leg over behind the left. Left arm over, spiral, sink it in. Moving with the breath. Exhale low. Inhale, fly it open. Exhale, step behind. Cross the arm, sink in. Inhale, superstar. Exhale, cross it over, opposite side. Move with your breath or stay longer and pause in the poses between breaths. The side you're stepping to, you're stepping behind that leg. Same arm on top, same leg on top. We're going a couple more each side. One more each side, or whatever you have to do to get even on both sides. Back to your superstar. Whee! Shake your booty. Breath, full body, stretch it out. Inhale, arms up, wiggle up out of the waist. Exhale, arms down, clasp. Inhale, heart bright. Exhale, heart forward, bow in, squeeze the shoulders, relax your neck. Keep squeezing palms together, little bend in the elbows, work the clasp of the hands overhead as much as you can, last two breaths in this way. Uh, imagine you're squeezing any tension out of the neck and shoulders, head, heavy neck, soft, all that tension, blah, 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 busyness, just dripping out the crown of your head. And next exhale, float the arms down. Walk your spine long. 
heels in line with your hips and spine long, hands under the shoulders. Uh, just for measurement, but really, let's bring that right hand to the center of the chest, beneath the center of the chest. Keep the sacrum level here, steady as you can. In inhale, left hand, face chest to the sky. Exhale, left hand down, follow your breath. Inhale, right hand, face chest open. Exhale, pour it down with your breath side to side. Again, keep the sacrum level, get as much spiral through your spine as you can. Right hand beneath the center of the chest. Inhale, open that left arm up, and this time, swoop that left arm across. Hold that right ankle and right forearm behind your calf. Right hand holds left ankle. I'm sorry, left hand holds right ankle, right forearm behind that calf, and pull your left hip up and back. So the sacrum is as level as you can. Reach through that right elbow and get that right side body long. Left hip pulls back. Reach through that left elbow, draw the chest in towards the thighs, relax your neck and breathe that hug of your right leg there. <sighs> Stay with that, hugging into that right leg or whichever one you're on, and take the hand that's behind the leg onto the floor, up overhead, draw an arc or a rainbow up overhead there, on the floor, fingers on the floor, and use your hands to uh, pull on the earth and spiral you deeper. So pull with your left hand onto that right ankle, right hand on the earth overhead, and help your spine to spiral in this inversion here. All kinds of new perspectives here, upside down and twisted. Well, breath, full body, curious world. Here, oh, now, this one spiraling breath. Ringing out in this upside down. So much extra detox here. Great. Full breaths. Exhale as completely as you can. Sigh. These last two breaths out. Follow your next inhale to unwind, long spine looking forward, and exhale, fold, neutral and center. Inhale, open up to center, and left hand beneath the center of your chest, your second side. Inhale, right hand, face chest to the sky, and exhale, swoop that right uh, hand over, hold your left ankle, left forearm behind that calf, your second side. Pull that right hip up and back, hug into the left leg, bend the knee as much as you need. Reach through that right elbow. So you're getting as much side body length as you can there, pulling right hip back, reaching through right elbow as you hug into left leg. Bend that left knee as much as you need, rest onto the thigh. And please stay with that or keep holding on to that ankle. Use the left arm or the arm that was behind your uh, calf to walk on the floor up overhead and keep drawing yourself into a deeper spiral from the pull of those top fingers as well as the hold on your bottom ankle. Reach through that right elbow, breathe a deep inverted twist here. Oh, all the ways to look at things, yes. Last breath cycle here. Take your time when you're ready. Inhale and unwind, long spine. And exhale and full. Dive in deeply, holding onto the ankles or walk the hands back. Neutral spine, just two or three breaths here in center. And then walk the hands out and step through to your seat. We'll come to the seat for a little bit more twisty core. 
before we play with a couple other things. And so up on your sits bones here, pull on the earth with your heels or your whole foot as you like. Pull, pull, pull to get that lower back curve in. The heart lifted. Keep the feet on the earth or turn them as needed when you're ready. Float your heels up. Maybe hold the back of your legs. Keep lifting the spine tall. Be wherever you need to be to have tall spine, engage core, and be as balanced as you can on the sits bones. Stay here, or legs can come up into a little boat. Stay there, or grab yourself an oar. Let's take a little twisty uh, rowboat. So push the legs straight out to one side as you paddle to the other side, pull in center. Exhale, legs push out to the other side as you paddle to the other side. Inhale here, exhale on that hardest part. Inhale center, exhale on the core spiral. Moving with the breath. You might use those pursed lips to push the breath out more, tone that vagus nerves a little more. <sighs> Sighs with sounds or songs, row, row, row your boat. That's always welcome too. <sighs> One more each side, or one more to that if you need to, to even out, and then feet together, knees wide. Give a little butterfly with the knees, lift up tall with your spine. Strong core, breathful body. All right. A little play here in our cosmic spiral with some more inversions. There's going to be many levels to this. So if you're very comfortable with inversions, there should be some fun stuff. If you're very not comfortable, stay with the more grounded stuff and be breathful wherever you are. First off, this is like a dog thing, right? I walked in a whole circle and like, oh my half force. So we're going to. Um, set up for a tripod headstand. So hands as wide as your shoulders and then look down and you want to make an equilateral triangle. So the same distance between your hands, that's going to be the distance between your hands and feet. So we're going to take a tripod balance. This doesn't have to be a full headstand. There's lots of ways to play with some core and inversion here um, without going full the full with it way here okay i'm actually going to do it from this direction for you i think for the spirally part so sorry i know it's a little awkward getting in there's my booty all right elbows as wide as the shoulders and hands and then push into your hands so that you can feel there's a third of your weight in each hand and a third in your head only a third in your head please and then maybe one knee to one tricep squeeze to center optionally one knee or both to the center when you're ready maybe one knee to each tricep stay there maybe one leg up maybe you come back squeeze into center stay there or one leg up stay there or maybe both legs up if you've easily got both legs up here here's a little challenge spiral those legs around again eagle leg squeeze Inhale, squeeze the legs, pull them up to the sky, and exhale as you lower towards one elbow. Inhale, press the legs up to the sky. Exhale, whee! Twist, squeeze to center, and reach the knees towards the other elbow. So many options for this. You can have one leg on the floor and play. You can have the head off the floor if you feel like you're getting too much pressure there. Just play with the knee cross body. So what kind of strength is right for you here? Optionally, you could be lying on your back, hugged in like you're in the pose upside down and tucking one knee the other or playing eagle legs. Inhale and tuck and tuck. Ha. Many ways to modify things. So if you're not a headstander, switch it up. If you are and you're fine there, stay. Otherwise, take pause. Maybe in child's pose and get a little pressed into the forehead. Yes, we are going to do both sides. So play with any of those things, whatever's inspired for you. Or if you're in a headstand for a while, 
Come on to child's pose and press into your forehead with a gentle roll of the head. Please stay with that as you like. This will be the biggest thing we're doing after this one more little flow and then we're down to the ground. So, yogi's choice. Let's play. Maybe you're building that tripod, hands and head at the third point, three points of a triangle, equilateral triangle. And then push into the hands, squeeze the elbows towards one another so they don't get wider than the wrist. Maybe one knee up, pull it in. Maybe the other knee up, pull it in. See how that is. Maybe both knees just squeeze here. Squeeze, squeeze to center. Maybe both legs come to the sky. And you cross that left leg over the right or second side. Squeeze into the legs and pull up. These legs and twists can actually make the pose easier as they're really using a lot of core strength so we don't collapse into the head. You should be right on the crown of the head above the ears. Come down as needed. Play as before, or inhale here, and exhale, tuck the knees towards one elbow, inhale, squeeze and lift them up, exhale, twist, tuck the knees towards the other elbow, inhale, squeeze, and lift it up. Please stay as you like, or come back down in any way that feels good for you. <laughs> Resting on your forehead, oh, once you're done or rest on the back body once you're done. It's up to you. We are going to move back into down dog momentarily. Get your breaths wherever you're at. Long, slow, deep, and delicious breaths. Breathe your hearts, yes. Any resting shape. Recovery breaths, another two breaths. And as you're ready, here we go, beginning to wind down our practice. Lost little flow or two, because two sides of the body. So when you're ready, down dog, inhale up and back. Give the head a little nod or roll around there. Let the neck be loose and your head be heavy. Strong hands pull back actively from the core to pull the weight out of the hands and wrists. And again, with a soft neck and a very heavy head, roll the head, turn, twist the neck. Head rolling as far as you can to one side. Heavy head, soft neck. Breathe the twist in your neck. Imagine any tension there dripping out of the cervical spine. Hug in, strong core, pull back, relax the neck, heavy head, and turn the head as far as you can to the other side. Breathe a twist of your neck. <sighs> Inhale here, reach and rise your right leg up and back to the sky. Bend the knee, flex the foot, press that hip, open, big, big breath. And as you exhale, foot forward between the hands. Hug in and rise up, a strong core. Squeeze to center. I'm going to switch my perspective to face you. Right foot forward, squeeze in. Inhale, arms to the sky. Take hold of that left wrist. Lift up out of the waist and side bend deeply over towards your right. Stretch out through that back heel. Reach through that top wrist. Big full breaths. Lift your heart. Maybe lay it back a little bit. Ah, breath, full body. And keep that squeeze to center, squeeze, squeeze, hug in, inner thighs hug together, and hook that left elbow or tricep outside of your thigh or knee. Squeeze those inner thighs, hands can come to earth and sky, or blocks, or palms together, push into your palms, roll the shoulders on the back and breathe here. Long, slow breaths, just three to five breaths, lengthen them out. Take your time. I'm going to switch perspectives again as we unwind. Hands to the floor. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, pull that back foot up. Standing split. And lengthen out here. Hug into the standing leg as much as you can. Reach the other leg up to the sky. Inhale there. Stay as you like. If you want to throw a little hand standing into this, you can walk the hands forward. Inhale and exhale. 
pull up from the core, squeeze those inner thighs, couple more breaths, pull up from that top foot, inhale back to your standing split, and as you exhale, tuck your right knee behind your left, and draw in, inhale, push the leg to the sky, look under that right armpit, or, uh, this one. As you exhale, tuck that top knee in behind the other knees, spiral in, looking under the other armpit. Inhale, press open. Exhale, spiral with your breath. Inhale, spiral open. Exhale, twist. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. One more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, back leg comes down, back knee outside of your standing foot and comes to sit. Woo, break time. Yeah. Hug into your top knee, wiggle into your sits bones, lift tall. Um, big full breath here. Please stay with this longer or same top leg, same arm outside that hip. Inhale, other arm up and over again, going for that side bend and then hook. Elbow or twist again into the twist. Root down, press, lift tall. Exhale, squeeze and spiral. Breathe. Hugging into core. Most importantly here, your spine is long and tall. Breathe that hug. Imagine wringing out any busyness. Detoxing, emptying out. Last couple breaths here. Take your time. As you unwind, lift tall and counter twist. Press into that leg. Lengthen up and open twist. Ah, please stay as you like or when you are ready. Unwind into your down dog. Stretch your hips back. Pull from the core long spine. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale. Ah, soft jaw. Give your head a little nod or roll around. Activate your hands. Pull back from the core. Second side. Reach and rise that leg to the sky. And exhale. Knee to the nose. Curl in and foot between the hands. Again, I'm going to switch uh, perspective and hugging in to rise up hands to your hips switched last time when I switched perspectives hugging in push hips down lift and lengthen up out of the waist squeeze to midline keep that alignment strong and take hold of your opposite wrist as your top hand as your front knee <laughs> squeeze to center and lift up and over hug those inner thighs together reach out through that uh, side body squeeze squeeze squeezing the center lengthen out back heel lift the heart Hug in here, deep, full breaths. <sighs> Keep that squeeze to center in that side body length spiral. Hook your other elbow or tricep outside that front knee or thigh. Push in, lift the navel, press that hip back, long spine. Again, hands to earth and sky, or palms together, shoulders on the back. Three to five breaths here. And take your time, unwind. Hands frame that front leg, inhale. And as you exhale, back foot up into the core. Lift it up high, standing split. Walk in towards your standing leg. Stretch out there. Stay with the standing split or, again, pulse hands forward. And inhale as you exhale. Pull up from the core, maybe little hops to handstand. Maybe just little pulses onto that tiptoe. Just a couple more breaths. Pull up from that top foot. And then we'll play with that. Inhale, leg to sky. Exhale, tuck that top knee behind the bottom one. Spiral, look under that armpit. Inhale, push in, spiral open, looking under the other armpit. Exhale, spiral in. Inhale, spiral out. Moving with your breath, three more. On the last one, bring that top knee outside of your bottom foot and come down to sit. Yeah. Wiggle into your sit bones. Lift your spine tall. Big full breath down into the sit bones and ah. soft jaw, soft tongue. 
bingo breaths. Once you feel grounded and breathful here, find your twist. Same arm as your top leg roots down, inhale tall, other arm up and over and hook. Press into all points of contact, lengthen. Inhale as you exhale, squeeze deeply. One breath at a time. Find that edge, each inhale to lift, each exhale to twist. Breath, full body. Letting go breaths. Use that sighing out. Any vibrations to extend the exhale, to squeeze the breath out a little more there by detoxing. A little more relaxing that vagus nerve. Please stay with that as you like once you feel complete there. Unwind, lift and spiral, open, twist, second side, push down into all points of contact, inhale, bright, exhale, breathe that open, twist, stay as you like. When you're ready, come back, take that top foot with you and bring feet together, knees wide. If your pelvic bowl rounds back here as you do this, which mine does a bit, then go ahead and grab a blanket or a block or a pillow or whatever you got and sit up on that just enough to get the pelvic bowl to pour forward. You might assist that by putting your booty back behind you and let the pelvic bowl roll forward. Feet together, knees wide. Hold on to the ankles to pull your shoulder blades down the back and lift your heart. Soft jaw. If the legs are floating a bit, you could butterfly here. Stretch out. Stay breathful as you are, singing, sighing, laughing, crying, oming, moaning, toning, whatever's right for you. Maybe extend those exhales with vibration. You could stay sitting up right here, or use the elbows to rock your thighs wide, or use the elbows to push into your shins and lengthen your spine forward. And an exhale, bow in. in a meditative seat. Root down into your sit bones and lift through your heart. Draw the ears back over the shoulders. Lengthen your spine. Again, maybe continue to tone, to om, to ring, to call in whatever mantras of energy you are welcoming or breathe your I am. So hung.
the season. The fullness of life. So many wonders, so much beauty blossoming, even in the struggle, even in the loss.
you're at home. Please stay in meditation as you like or resting Shavasana as you're able. Or gently begin to wiggle and spiral. Invite that breath to deepen and lengthen, stretch and move as in spiral. And as in spiraled, sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> Take any comfortable seat. Take pause in your seat. Feel your breath. The aliveness in your body. The spaciousness in the body mind your connection to all that is. Follow any exhale to touch the earth and ground down, press into earth as you lift up through your heart. Thank you, beautiful earth. Thank you, body.